Hi, I'm Ed Chung. I have been years and also I'm an internal medicine physician. I'm creating a series of videos to hopefully help others with Meniere's or other people who want to know a little bit more about Meniere's disease. Uh, this section of the videos is a section six, which initially I was going to make in one single video, but there's just so many medications and so many drugs and so many things that um, are out there to treat Meniere's or help with Meniere's or hopefully help with Meniere's that um, it's just too hard to fit in one video. So I'm going to break this section into five different parts. Um, this is just the introduction video, video 6.0, uh, talking about medications. Um, the, the medications can actually be broken into like five large categories. And um, the first video I'm going to talk about, talk about with 6.1 are uh, diuretics. Uh, for video 6.2, I'm going to talk about temporary drugs to block symptoms. And uh, third section, six, video 6.3, I'm going to talk about steroids and the role of steroids. For section 6.4, I'm going to talk about miscellaneous different drugs that are out there. Uh, and uh, for the fifth part, video 6.5, I'm going to talk about vitamins and supplements. A um, couple things I do want to emphasize are that all medications um, in the United States or in the entire world have a, quote, a generic or quote scientific name and this is the universal name that is used around the world uh, that the medical that are that are actually the names of the medical compounds used by all the drug companies okay an example of this is called acetaminophen you've probably heard of this you go to the drugstore you'll see acetaminophen what acetaminophen is is the generic or scientific name for uh, the brand name or trade name for Tylenol okay but because Tylenol is so ubiquitous that sometimes the generic or brand names can be tied with um, or be associated with the uh, generic name. So I'm going to try to talk more with using the generic name because in each country or in each uh, pharmaceutical co company that makes the, these medicines name the exact same medicine under a different trade name or brand name. Okay. Um, so I apologize if I, if I haven't recorded in a while, but... Um, Again, I've been having a little bit of flaring and my tinness has been going off. Uh, I did put another link on this video right here. Uh, I just heard a, uh, just listened to a great, great, great program on National Public Radio from This American Life. And with This American Life, they're talking about uh, tinnitus. And, and the program's called Living Without. Um, this Actually, I would recommend actually listening to it and maybe recording it on a, a, a CD and handing it out to your friends or patients or people who have severe tenderness because it, it, it actually does a great excellent job sort of maybe perhaps giving other people insight as far as what p patients or people with tenderness suffer through or have to deal with every single day of their life so uh, on to video 6.1 again this, this, this whole section of video 6 uh, talking about medications are going to be broken into five separate parts uh, thanks